Y'all, Alexandra named about three different things. I'm like, Alexandra, I ain't finna buy all them colors. Dear coffee loving friends, y'all look, this one is really, really good. The um, oatmeal cookie one. I thought it would be too oatmeal cookie-ish, but it's not, like it's not, it's a good one, it's a good one. This is my first time using it, um, but I'm certain I'll um, be purchasing it again. So just had to share. Hey y'all, hey y'all. Um, y'all, I got a new camera. Your girl is very excited. Um, so I have not taken photos, um, videos. Y'all know I just did my first YouTube video again after like, y'all I swear it's almost been a year. It's been a long time, but I decided to get my book butt back at it. But I've also been saying that I needed a, you know what, let me have a seat. Let me have a seat here, honey, cause one second, y'all. Let me um, prop y'all up on something so that I can just kind of talk to y'all for just a bit. Um, look, I got my home glasses on. Y'all, I walk around in these because these are some of the lightest um, glasses, like light as a feather, okay? So I usually walk around in these. These are like my in-house glasses, okay? I have a few other pairs that I wear out. Um, now, of course, of course, if I had on some red or something, I probably would just, you know, pop these on. But y'all, they so lightweight. So these are the ones that I wear around the house um, all the time. Y'all, does my makeup look pretty good today? So I have gotten a few makeup products. I've gotten quite a few makeup products, at, actually. And I I think I might just do like this little random haul while we let's just sit um okay give me a second I'm gonna prop y'all up on something once I prop y'all up I'm gonna just show y'all the few things that I've got makeup wise because I have not bought makeup in ages hadn't been studying no makeup hadn't been doing none of that but because it's so hot in Texas I decided that I will not be wearing liquid foundation no I will not be wearing liquid foundation this summer. Um, I, so I was talking to mother and she was telling me that she tried a um, powder foundation. And I'm like, okay, that sounds like exactly what I need. Like a, a powder foundation so that I can put on and not feel so caked up and heavy. Like I don't need nothing sliding down my face and that's just it, okay? So I did get me a new powder foundation that I actually think, now this is just my second time wearing it y'all, but this is what I have on today. Um, yeah, I got a few makeup products. So give me a second, let me prop y'all up somewhere just so that I can have a seat and just show y'all the few little items that I did get, okay? So look, I'll be right back with y'all, right back. I told y'all I was going to show y'all just the few random, um, the few random makeup items that I have picked up lately. Like I told y'all, I have not bought makeup. It's been a long time. It has been a very long time since I bought any makeup, since I was interested in buying makeup, any of that, okay? But I just so happy when I decided that I was only going to be wearing, um, when I decided I was only going to be wearing um, powder foundation this summer just because it's far too hot in Texas, I'm like, I don't have time, nor am I interested in putting on all of that stuff only for it to slide down my doggone face because that's honestly what would have happened. Um, one day I called myself getting cute, putting some makeup on, y'all. I, I just, I was just miserable. I felt so uncomfortable. It was hot. I'm trying to, you know, fan myself and the look wasn't giving what it was supposed to give by the time I got to where I needed to go. So I was like, you know what? At that moment, that's when I decided that I was not gonna be messing around with no um, liquid foundation this summer. So I went to, I went to Dillard's uh, cause mother told me about a powder foundation she got from, y'all, is this Lancome? 
Oh yes, this is Lancome. So it's a, a Lancome um, dual finish uh, powder foundation, okay? The color I got was 530 um, Suede, okay? So if for reference, if y'all are interested in this, you know, and you about my color, then I think this will be a, a very good one for you. When I used to wear MAC foundation, I was um, NW45 in MAC. I forget which number I am in uh, I am in Fenty, the Fenty foundation that I have, but I'll include that. I'll also kind of put somewhere on the screen the color that I am in the Revlon color set, which y'all know happens to be one of my absolute favorite, absolute favorite foundations. I feel like I wore that foundation for like two years straight and that's no exaggeration at all. Um, but the uh, Lancome color, now when I first put this color on y'all, when I first put it on, it was it was it was really looking kind of red on me. And this is when I tried it on in the store. Like I went with nothing on my face, went in, tried it on, and I'm like, why do I feel like I look red? So the lighting in the store absolutely did nothing for it either, because I feel like I was looking a little bit way more red reddish orange that I should have been looking but I feel like it works fine just now so if y'all think I look a mess and it don't work y'all just be sure to let me know but I feel like this is gonna be like a permanent thing because honestly again it's too hot in Texas to be walking around with all that foundation dripping down your face I feel like now in my older years my more mature years I feel like honestly to me it's just about skincare like taking care of your face to where you can just go ahead and walk out out with no makeup on y'all it also could be that I wear glasses now and I mean who got time to be putting on makeup when you wear glasses okay like no I'm not into like let me just pop my glasses on and y'all gonna get what y'all get okay but I feel like this is like a something that I'm absolutely loving in the two times that I'm wearing I ain't been act like I'm just you know real acquainted with it because that's not the case um, oh yeah, that it is Lancome because I was like, what is this? Okay, so Lancome Paris dual finish powder foundation is what that was. So when I was at the mall getting this make getting this foundation compact, I was like, okay, what else can I get? That's when you see that's the dangerous thing about it. You start buying makeup, you just go to looking around like, what else can I buy? Blah blah blah. So I walked right on over to Mac, and I ended up meeting um, Alexandra, honey. We just we was just kikiing for a good little while. So she was telling me a few things, y'all. She was absolutely beautiful. Skin was beautiful. So I'm like, um, Alexandra, what you got on? You know, I ain't really need like a full product breakdown, but I did ask her like, what are you using for primer these days? Blah blah blah. You know asking those kind of questions um and she did tell me about this studio radiance which is a moisturizing illuminating silky primer one thing i can say because she did tell me about this product and she also gave me a sample um of it right and i have been i have worn the sample the two times that i've worn the lancome and y'all my face it really was silky like it really was silky when i put it on i did i do think i really really like it um now one thing about it though that i was like why is it white like it did leave like that white um, residue you know what I mean on your face like after I put it on like after I wash my face after I do my toner and then I put it on it did kind of turn white not in a flaky kind of way but almost like you could tell I had something on right so I put it on but then when I put the makeup on top of it it's not like I haven't noticed any like flashback any of that right so I guess I need to try and test it out just a little bit more um, before I tell y'all to run out and buy it you know what I mean I just want to make sure that it's gonna be something that you won't start seeing um, like that white residue the, 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 the flashes you know kind of interfering with it and all of that but from the sample because I haven't opened up the full thing yet because when she was like oh i love it so much she, yeah she was giving me a sample but i'm like i don't want to have to come back and get it if i really really like it so i went ahead and i bought the full size of it okay so that's one thing about that so i did get that 
Um, also, I was asking her about her um, contour, right? I was asking her, I'm like, girl, what you using for contour nowadays? Y'all, I'm just all up in the girl business. And I had just met her that day. But um, she was just, I mean, she was just too beautiful and she was so sweet. So I'm like, okay, let's just go on and, and talk. So she showed me a few, uh, I think, products that will be discontinued. So I did pick up two of the Dazzle Shadow um, liquids, okay? Y'all, the color is absolutely gorgeous. Um, okay, can y'all see? Tell me if y'all can see this color. It's like a goldish bronze, but it's one of those liquid shadows. It's like some glitter. So, of course, it wouldn't be a color that y'all would just be wearing that y'all would just be wearing on a daily basis. I mean, unless you that girl. If you like if you like glitter every day, then yeah, you might really like this. But I did pick up two of these because I thought about I thought about y'all. I'm like, okay, well they only had two, so I got both. I'm like, I can give it to somebody. So got that. Haven't tried it yet, so I'm not really sure. Um I got an eyeshadow because I did give Taylor Ward all my eyeshadow palettes um a while back, but I know like I used to buy those, uh, the folding, you know, the MAC palettes with, you can put all the different colors in there, all of that. So I knew that I wasn't wearing enough makeup. Taylor was getting into makeup, um, you know, like seriously, like doing it at school and all that kind of stuff. So I went ahead and I gave her all of my makeup palettes and I mean all of them, I think. Um, so I don't really have any eyeshadow anymore. Um, but I did need something to just kind of, you know, just slap on my cre I mean, uh, slap on my lid because y'all know I I don't wear I've never y'all have never just really seen me go all out with like a full eyeshadow um eyeshadow look but I needed something to just slap on my lid um just you know to kind of blend in like the concealer that I might put under my brow just to kind of keep it new like if anything give me a wing liner um and a bold lip and I think that's kind of like just my everyday go-to you know makeup look for when I do put makeup on okay but I did just pick up up a saddle um eyeshadow which is definitely like a skin tone eyeshadow as y'all see it's it's you know honestly if, if it's doing anything it's really just giving like um like a flat look that that just blends things in so i did pick up one of these and i think she told me she used it too for something and that's probably why i got it but when i was asking her about the um contour she's been using these days you know how you ask somebody something and then they go to giving you a few different things to get that one thing which i do sometimes with perfume okay not by you know not because i just like you know messing with folk but it's just like i you know spray something on then i might spray something else on so it's technically not one thing but y'all alexandra named about three different things i'm like alexandra i ain't been about all them colors and i know i used to have them all i think she told me I think it was maybe a raisin blood, the raisin blush and some other color that she, she mentioned. I don't remember because I was not buying both those blushes to achieve just one. But then she tells me that, um, she was all, she also, um, uses the Juvia's Place, the bronze, bronze palette, which, um, is the deep dark color. Y'all, she was like a beautiful chocolate black woman. Okay. So she's like some shades darker than me, but she was like, Oh, I love that palette. And then when I looked at it online, cause I looked at it while we were talking, y'all, the colors that she mentioned were just about identical to the colors that's in the Juvia's Place palette. I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to order that one palette and not buy all of these others. So this is the palette, y'all. Look at the colors. So one of these looks identical to Raisin, which is what she told me about. And then I honestly forget what the other what the other color is. But y'all, these are perfect colors. Do you hear me? Like I literally was like, Alexandra, them the same doggone colors. So I just ended up going to Ulta to pick this palette up. I actually used this palette today. And y'all, I made a mistake and may have used one more. So there I go again with three different colors, but um, I did just use one other one that I already had and I want to say what color was that? 
I don't know. I'll, ha I'll have to. I'll have to look and let y'all know. But this palette is gorgeous. So if you um, are my complexion or even darker, definitely um, see if you can get your hands on this uh, bronzer palette. Okay. So this is what I use just for like the contour. Um, literally just dipping my brush in both. So if you see it, then that's this is pretty much mainly what I used. I'll say that. That's mainly what I used. Um. Okay, so those are the only few little items I picked up from MAC and Lancome um, from that day I went to um, Dillard's. But I feel like I've gotten a few things from, y'all, what I got? So me and Aria went to Ulta one day. I was supposed to just be helping her get some stuff. Y'all, I done got this whole bag of stuff. I was not going to get anything. I literally was just going to help her pick out her colors and stuff. Oh, y'all, I forgot to use this doggone spray. This white truffle first spray serum. So I was watching a video the other night and I will link his video be below because he's a, a professional makeup artist. Y'all probably can't see that. I don't have any lights on or anything like that. I just have like whatever natural light is coming in, but I know y'all probably still can't see it. Y'all, he put this spray on his skin and I'm like, ooh, that's cute. I had to pause the video when I went and bought this spray. I forgot all about this doggone spray. Um, so I'll link his video below so that y'all could see it. I think his name is Spencer. I'm not sure if it's like makeup by Spencer or something like that, but I will definitely link it below because that's where I saw this particular spray being used, okay? And the thing is, it didn't look like he had on a lot of anything, okay? I feel like he had on just like a, a moisturizer, just like a very, like a minimal uh, you know, makeup, no makeup look. You know, that's the kind of look that I was getting from what he had on, but he did use this. So I need to remember to use this. I actually meant to use it today, I forgot. Um, also just got makeup wipes, Neutrogena ones are the ones I use. Also y'all, I didn't really get much of anything from Ulta. I was too lazy to wash my um, sponges. So I was like, oh, I'm going to need to put some makeup on in the next couple of days. So I did just get a, a little pack of Real Technique sponges. And then I got the little mini ones as well. You know, that people kind of go underneath their eye concealer with. Just got a couple of these. Tell you the truth, I can take these back because I actually washed brushes the other day. Brushes and sponges. I also got this little, um, this is a little buffing brush from Elf. Like, I use to, to get a lot of else brushes back when they was three dollars baby i don't know if i'm gonna be paying those six dollars for them now them brushes is six dollars now and granted I, I think they've always been great brushes even at the three dollar range i definitely understand that you gonna have to at, at some point you got to go up in price yes i understand that y'all but god dog six dollars that's double what they used to be but i did like this one and i was kind of thinking of using this one for like concealer situations under the eye because now that I'm using this powder foundation y'all I honestly when I do my uh, when I do my toner my moisturizer my primer I literally then just go in with a little concealer under the eye you know in the, the spaces that you would put concealer and I put the powder foundation on top of that okay because my again my thing is to be fairly you know uh fairly minimal with the products in terms of the new uh routine that i'm going with so i'm gonna just continue to do it for a few more times to just really tell y'all if this gonna be my routine moving forward okay um so i just got a brush and then just um just a couple body scrubs so actually y'all i didn't get much of anything how much did i spend on these few items at ulta y'all i spent 60 dollars though Six dollars to not be going up in there to get me nothing. This is just a um a watermelon a shea sugar scrub, and then I got just a little um a firming whip shea body butter. At this point, I was just picking up stuff because this was definitely not um on my list of items that I needed to even think about getting. Okay, um so yeah, so these are just the last the few little products that I have picked up makeup wise. In like the last, you know, not not a very long time. I feel like I've got these gotten these items within like the last week and a half, possibly two weeks, if that. So I had them just sitting down, and I'm like, okay, 
let me show y'all what I got. But again, I have not purchased makeup in so, 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 so long. It wasn't until I realized that I just needed something other than a liquid foundation because your girl was not going to be putting on no hot uh, liquid foundation in this um, extreme Texas heat, okay? No, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. But why did I buy me a new camera too? Why did I buy me a new camera too? I got me a new camera. I got the Canon 90D and just like one of the basic nifty 50 lenses. So look, the next clip y'all see will actually be like a little unboxing of the, um, of my camera, y'all. Do I have time to learn how to use this camera? Absolutely not. Am I excited that I have it? I certainly am because I really need to get back into, you know, playing around on social media, like with my pictures and all of that. I have not done a shoot. Like when I first started blogging, I need first off, blogging I mean when I first started blogging I used to do photo shoots you know with like outfit posts and all of that kind of stuff y'all I ain't, I ain't got no money like everybody to be doing all these shoots I ain't got no money I ain't got no money so I need my own camera so that I can get my butt out there and take my own picture so that's why I decided to go ahead and break down and get me a new camera so that that could hopefully motivate me. You know how you buy workout clothes thinking it's going to motivate you to work out and you don't really work out, but you look cute. That's one of these situations. So I got me a new camera. Hopefully I, it can really motivate me to like get out there, really start back taking photos and all of that kind of stuff. Cause I'm really, really excited about it. So um, let me just show y'all my camera because I do have somewhere to go today. Got a graduation to go to, so I really want to unbox it real quick so that I can get it fully, you know, nice and fully charged while I'm gone, okay? So, wanted to show y'all the makeup items. Y'all see like a little quick um, unboxing of the, um, of the camera. And I really been watching a lot of videos, but y'all, it is exhausting trying to learn how to use these cameras. Like you almost need like a, you know, an eighth or ninth day in the week to really devote to trying to really learn how to use this stuff. But it's like, if you paying for cameras and lenses and all of this kind of stuff, girl, you do need to learn how to use it. So, I, I really, cause I never, cause my G7X is what I, what I got when I first started recording, you know, YouTube videos and stuff. What I'm filming on now is that, okay? Y'all, I just know the basic. I know how to turn the camera on. Could I, it, it probably could be doing far more than what I think. Um, but I just don't, I never had time to really learn it. But now that I have this um, DSLR camera and I want to start investing in some lenses and all that kind of stuff, I really, really need to learn how to, to use it. So that being said, the next clip should be, <clears throat> excuse me. The next clip should be a clip of me just kind of doing a little quick unboxing of my camera. What time is it? It's 2 o'clock. I need to be there at 4.30. Okay, I got enough time to do it. I got enough time to do it. So, talk to y'all later. Um, drop, down some, uh, drop down below some video um, ideas y'all would like to see. I was thinking because I have such great light in my place, I might start doing some makeup videos for y'all if y'all want to. If y'all want me to, because the thing is, if I'm trying to, you know, if I got a new pic, I mean, a new camera to start taking pictures and stuff, I'm gonna have to do something with my face. So let me know if y'all want me to just start showing, doing a few little makeup videos. Um, if y'all looking for, you know, well, I mean, this is honestly an everyday makeup look for me, no matter what I'm doing, no matter where I'm going. Only thing is I might pop on some lashes, might pop on a wing liner, might pop on a, a, a pretty bold lip you know, whatever. So, okay. Talk to y'all later. Let me know below what y'all want to see, um, for future videos so that I can kind of get that done for y'all. Okay. Bye. Y'all. I'm so excited. I got a new camera. As you see, it is the Canon, um, 90D. And for lens, I just got the, the basic, you know, nifty 50 lens. Um, you know, until I really learn how to like work the camera and all that fun stuff, I did not, but the lens I want y'all is like a thousand dollars, but I'm just like, wait, I don't even know how to use the, the most basic. So I haven't, um, purchased that yet, but my camera i'm so freaking excited almost like a kid in a candy store now i do not have time to play with it right now um i'm really just opening it up just so that i can get it 
and fully charged because I got somewhere to go later. Um, so I just needed to make sure I get this bad boy charging so that when I do come back home, I can actually play with it. Hold on y'all, let me turn off one second. Let's see. Okay y'all, the light may have changed there, um, but I, I, it was just too much of a glare, so I wanted y'all to be able to see. Y'all know I get all this good light um, in my apartment, so it's like literally no lights are on, just the blinds being open. But y'all, I'm so darn excited. This is probably one of the the first things I'ma actually, you know, take the time to um, read read the manual. Okay, so that I can fully learn how to use it. We have the battery. I'ma look real legit with a um I'ma look real legit with a core around my neck, ain't I? I'ma look real legit. <laughs> Y'all too excited. Okay. And then we have the camera body. Oh man. Y'all. Y'all excited for me? Cause I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna have to put y'all down just a second so that I can show y'all. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put y'all down so that I can take this out. I can't be trying to break my camera trying to show it to y'all. Hold on, y'all. Almost okay. I'm like, I can't be breaking my camera trying to show it to y'all. OMG. Y'all know how you get like new um new Apple products and you be all excited wanting to open it up and and all of that kind of stuff. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I love it already. Look a here y'all. Look a here. Your girl got a camera. Okay, of course the flip out screen is it's great because who don't want to see they self while they record and so we got that oh man y'all oh i'm so excited what does any of this stuff mean <laughs> what does any of it mean Oh, y'all, it has a really nice grip so I can, because, you know, I got some fat hands, so I can pretty much hold on to, um, to whatever, but, but y'all, oh man, this feels nice. This feels really nice, feels, um, quite sturdy. Um, so let's do the lens now. Cause like I said, I don't have time to just play with it right now, but I did want to at least get it um, turned on. Now the lens, it's a, a, the 50 millimeter 1.8, I do believe. Yes, 1.8. And I saw a lot of good reviews about this lens. The good, okay, one of the best things is it was not crazy expensive at all um you can get this lens for under 150 dollars and honestly y'all lenses are so expensive from what i can tell from doing my research and stuff that you honestly like 150 dollar lens you cannot go wrong um with that now the one that i really want is a sigma lens <clears throat> excuse me i think it's a 35 um one point one point something I can't remember what, but I know it's a thousand dollars. So once I like really learn how to play around with it, then I do plan to get um, that that lens because I've heard and seen some great things that it can do. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is this is my lens. I need to get my nails done, y'all. Oh my goodness, y'all, I'm so excited, y'all. Sharika has a legit camera. Sharika has a legit camera, okay? Photography packages come in spring 2023, okay? <laughs> y'all, I'm too excited. Okay, let me just see if I can, okay. All I'm gonna do is just put the lens on, okay? Ooh. 
There I go, not used to nothing. I can't wait to get back, learn how to actually use it. Let me pop the, let me find where this battery go. Okay. And let's get that put in really quick. Cause that's really the main thing I wanna do. Go ahead and get it, uh, get it charged up. So I do have some accessories y'all that go with it as well. Um, I actually just got a notification that I have a uh, Amazon package that was delivered today. So I did get a remote, um, a wireless remote so that I can use that to take my own photos, like pop it up on the iPod, I mean the tripod, take my own photos. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got a mic because this camera, you can add a mic to it. So do I really need a mic? Probably not, but I got one so I can look extra fancy. Um, it wasn't that expensive. So I have a mic, I have a remote. Oh, and I have my memory card. So those are the three accessories I got so far. Um, I am going to get another battery but i want to get a battery that i can plug into the wall like say for instance if i'm recording something i can have that battery in and kind of have it charging as it's plugged in so i definitely want to definitely want to get that because i did get even with this camera y'all i did get a new um or an extra i got an extra battery with my g7x just because i mean i feel like the battery life is pretty good but i think there was like one instance where i was doing something like i was recording and then i started noticing the flash and listen honestly y'all if i'm recording and i notice that the battery going out and i gotta stop and charge 100 that video over i ain't got no time to be letting nothing charge up for no two hours or because i think that's the typical time frame for a full battery i ain't got no time to be letting nothing extra charge up and then finish no video so wherever that video cut off that when that battery die that video over at that point it's just over so um, I'm going to get another, um, battery for this one for sure, but y'all, it looks so freaking good. I love it. Love it. Love it. Again, a flip out screen. If I wanted to do an extra flash, I think that's what that's for. Oh, and I also heard y'all that this lens is one that gives like that nice bokeh in the back. So that nice little blurry background, cause I do love that. When I watch people videos and they have that, I'm like, oh yes, give it to me, okay? Um, so yeah, so I'm going to, Oh, y'all, wow, y'all, I'm so crazy. I done put the battery in the thing like it's already charged, duh. I gotta let it charge in this. So, let me take that out. You know when you excited, you just be doing stuff that don't make no sense, because I knew that battery was not charged. Um, but yes, just wanted to show y'all this. I'm gonna play with it when I come back in tonight. And, uh... Just really kind of do just the basic stuff that I need to get done. Um, am I putting this in the wrong way or what? Oh. When you excited about something, you just be doing stuff that don't make no sense, right? Don't make no sense. But y'all, I'm gonna get this charged up fully so that I can play with it later on. I'm too, too excited. Um, I'll show y'all my accessories and stuff later on because like I said, I still have a package I have to go down um, and get from the mail room. Um, and I think that's gonna be the mic and my memory card so i definitely know i have those items too um to go get but yeah y'all that's my little unboxing of the camera and all of that i ain't even gonna turn it on because then it's gonna make me late for what i got to do because i know i don't have time to play with it right now but very very excited
hopefully y'all are excited to see some new content and stuff um get me some pictures and stuff i don't already told aria like aria just get yourself together uh because we need to go ahead and start getting us some um of, of doing us some a couple of shoots a week i would say oh y'all look got me a little cord and everything everything Oh, y'all, I'm just so incredibly excited. I ain't even finna mess with this yet. So, okay, talk to y'all later. Just wanted to show y'all what I had going on. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed before I end up not going where I'm supposed to be going. So, talk to y'all later. Bye.